Okay, some more lessons in immaturity. This is our list so far. Don't have time. Late. Miss classes. We. Okay, here's the new one. Failure to fail. Somebody asks, how's it going? And you say, it's not working. So they ask, well, what's not working? And you answer, I don't know. That's your chance to be an engineer. Failure is a very specific process. If you don't fail properly, you stop being an engineer and you hand all the engineering off to someone else. Asking for something new after you burn something up and haven't documented it, haven't troubleshot it, haven't written a document saying, here's my hypothesis about what went wrong, here are my next steps so that I won't do this again in the future, here's some rules to follow for the rest of the world so the rest of the world never does this in the future. Failure to write in your notebook beforehand so that you're preparing for failure at all times, expecting it to happen, Murphy's Law. So immediately after failure, stop what you're doing. Start looking, smelling, touching, temperature, noise, heat. Dive as deep as possible. Take it apart. Look for burn spots. Look for broken edges, dull things that should have been sharp or things that are sharp that should have been dull. Debris and dust where there shouldn't be. I mean, just dive into the detail. Figure out exactly what failed. Then form a hypothesis about what happened. It doesn't have to be the right hypothesis. It's just a hypothesis. It's so that we can do this again. We can fail again and get closer and closer to the success. If you don't do this, you just hand this process off to somebody else. Okay, here's how this goes. Yes, what are you going to do? So it's in the task formation stage where you're asking your group mates, what, what's, what are you gonna do over the weekend? What's gonna occupy 10 hours of your time? How are you going to get 10 hours written in your notebook, get 40 points, 30 points on your next review? What are you going to do? And then the person responds, I am, and they mutter something, and then you hear somebody's name or you hear some part that they're waiting for to come in. So then you ask, why are you waiting for something to happen? That means you don't have nothing to do. And then they respond by saying, I cannot think of anything else. Okay, so this is a big problem depending upon a teammate to have, and following them totally through the entire project, that's not going to work. Making your work dependent upon an external situation, like you ordered something and it hasn't come in, so you're just going to sit there the rest of your life, you'll get fired for that. It basically means you're not thinking about the project outside the class. While you're in the class, your goal is to do the absolute minimum. You're trying to avoid any commitments. You're trying to not, if you behave like that as an engineer, you'll get fired. You're going to get a poor review in this class. Solve this problem by thinking about the project outside of the class. Think about what everybody else is doing on the project. Be the first to figure out what the next step is that pushes this project forward and makes it complete. 